dozens of supporters of President Donald Trump took part in an anti-immigration protest in New Mexico this weekend, forming a human wall along the southern border. Demonstrators, many wearing Make America Great Again hats, held hands while chanting Build a Wall at the border between Sunland Park, New Mexico, and Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua State, Mexico. Their protest took place just days after President Trump tweeted that the U.S. will build a human wall if necessary, as the federal government shutdown continues over the disagreement of funding his border wall. Several children took part in Saturday's protest, some carrying placards reading, Stop child trafficking and stop the drugs that destroy our youth while waving U.S. flags. The demonstrators stood hand in hand for 45 minutes in honor of Trump, the 45th U.S. president, Epic Times reported. We are here to bring attention to that fact that there isn't a wall here, said Anthony Aguero, a resident from El Paso, Texas, said according to the news website we have to secure our nation, and at the same time we are securing the nation, all of these people will be able to live in peace because all the drug and human trafficking that passes through here won't happen here. They will have to find somewhere else. Meanwhile, Democrat and Republican budget negotiators remain separated over how much to spend on President Trump's promised border wall. A Friday midnight deadline is looming to prevent the second partial government shutdown, and while key negotiators plan to meet today, the mood is not hopeful. The White House has asked for $5.7 billion, a figure rejected by the Democratic-controlled House. You cannot take a shutdown off the table, and you cannot take $5.7 billion off the table, acting White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvane told NBC's Meet the Presses. But Mulvaney did signal that the White House would prefer not to have a repeat of the last shutdown, which stretched more than a month, left more than 800,000 government workers without paychecks, forced to postponement of the State of the Union address, and sent Trump's poll numbers tumbling. As support in his own party began to splinter, Trump surrendered after the shutdown hit 35 days without getting money for the wall. <laughs>